Hi everyone, we are going to solve equations with more than one operation. And when we do this, we use the Please Excuse My Dear Aunt Sally acronym, but we use it in a special way. We use it in reverse, so that means it goes backwards, so we would really use it. Sally Aunt Dear My Excuse Please. And not only do we use it in reverse, but we invert the operation. So for a subtraction uh, operation, we would add. For an addition operation, we would subtract. For division, we would multiply. For multiplication, we would divide. If there are exponents in it, we would use logarithms. And although you may not know what that means, there is a way to undo exponents. And then for anything in a parentheses, you would simply remove the parentheses and then repeat the process from the S all the way through to the left. So let me show you what I mean with an example. Here I'm going to type 4x plus 5 equals 17. And as you can see, the problem has an answer here in 17, but what we do not have is a value for x. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go through a step-by-step -step process to get us to a point where we have solved for x, so we know what x equals. So our first order of operation is to take a look at the PEBDAS and look at the S. And we don't have a subtraction operation, so we'll go to our next letter, which is A, in addition. And we can see that we do have a plus 5 on this side of the equal sign. And we also know that whatever we do to this side, we must also do to this side in order to keep it balanced. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we will subtract 5 from the left side of the equation and we will subtract 5 from the right side. And what that leaves us with is 4x equals 12. Now to further isolate this variable, we want to do the opposite of the operation. There are no operations on this side, so we're looking at this side again. We're looking to isolate x, so we want to try and get it to be by itself. So our next order of operations is division, and there's no division currently happening in this equation. So we'll go to our next letter, and that's multiplication. And we do have a multiplication uh, operation here, because we know that 4 next to a variable means multi it's being multiplied by that number, or whatever number that represents. So we're going to go ahead and divide by 4 here, and we'll do the exact same on the other side of the equation. And what that brings us to is x equals 3. Here we have our first step in our um, operation. Here's our next step of operations in dividing by 4. And that leaves us with x equals 3. 